Hey, I'm Anthony Matos. And I'm Arushi Daima. And I'm here at the Red Beacat Red Carpet and Appreciation Awards night, and it's going to be a fun night, Arushi. It's going to be great. Let's get right to it. I'm here today with... Kurt Wiedenroth. And what's your relation to Beacat? Well, one of your uh, BCAT workers involved in getting an award tonight, Colleen Moore. Oh, fun. Okay, so uh, how do you feel about BCAT as like an organization? Seems pretty good to me. I don't know a lot about it, though. All right. And um, how are you feeling about the award ceremony tonight? Looking forward to it. All right. I think it's going to be fun. Thank you so much. I'm here with Aaron Triggett. Aaron, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. I'm a little bit nervous to be here tonight, but I think it's going to be fun. Oh, you're good. You're good. What do you do here at BCAT? I'm a video voyager and I record skits. I also help outside of BCAT at like different sporting events mainly, like mainly basketball and some other stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. How long have you been involved with BCAT? Uh, about two years since sixth grade, pretty really? much. Really? Yes. And how did you get involved? I got involved with uh, the BCAT uh, summer thing for like a week, and then I became a BCAT. I became a video voyager in sixth grade, and then I just got sucked into it. I'm here today with uh, Luke Marcasoli. And uh, what's your position at BCAT? I mostly volunteer, but I'm also in the BCAT high school club. All right, cool. Same. Um, and how are you feeling about the award ceremony tonight? Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I went the last two years and it was a lot of fun, so I'm really excited to see what they have in store this year. And how do you feel about BCAT as like an organization and how it impacts the community? I feel like they do a lot of good work, they have a lot of good people, and I really enjoy the programs that they have available. Alright, thank you so much. So I'm here with Bob Krieg, he is the host of These Old Farts, and what, tell me a little bit about the show. It's a group of guys sitting around talking about whatever occurs to them at the time. Uh, we try often to have a specific topic, but it's like herding cats. The conversation goes where the conversation goes. One of the reasons why I wanted to talk today was over the past couple of years, uh, we've been forced to do our show uh, remotely via Zoom. And it's created all kinds of wonderful challenges. And I want to thank the staff and the volunteers at BCAT for stepping up and making this at all possible. So I really appreciate it. Hey Bob, how, you, how long have you been at BCAT? Probably about 17, 18 years. Uh, actually, the, the whole thing started in the family. My daughter in 1990 did a retrospective uh, as a senior for the graduating class of 1990. And so she was involved in, I'm not sure if it was BCAT at the time or what the name was, but that was kind of the beginning. And I hope you have a fun night. Okay, thank you. All right, and today I'm here with? Uh, my name is Chris Rose, and I'm a volunteer with BCAT and have been since my days in high school, in this high school. And this is Wesley Stanky. Uh, we also were representing the Burlington Players, uh, the theater group, because we've had a very good partnership with BCAT in the past, and we just want to show our support. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm also a student volunteer here, here at BCAT. <laughs> Excellent. I was. Yeah. I started senior year, took a few years off, and then uh, actually around the time of COVID, the theater wasn't doing much. We couldn't really do many productions, uh, so I reached out to Jen and said, if you need help, I, my volunteer time is open right now. I came back. It's fantastic. Yeah. And how are you two feeling about the award ceremony here tonight? I, I like the uh, a lot of the uh, programs that are being recognized tonight. My, my personal, because I've known him for many years, John Sachs, uh, is a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's also very heavily involved in the theater community, and uh, it's nice to see him getting recognized. All right, that's fantastic. All right, I'm here with Chase Jackman, and what is it you do here at BK? Uh, I do a bunch of like the field production, so like I go to a bunch of the sports games to film stuff, and I also do Devil's Sunrise for the Burlington High School. And what is your favorite part about working with BCAT? 
I'd have to say definitely getting closer to a bunch of like the staff and people that work there as well because I love socializing and being able to talk to people while also doing work is really fun. How did you get involved? So my friend reached out to me in middle school and I started doing the video Voyagers thing and then ever since from there I've just started doing more activities and it built up. Do you have a favorite memory here at PCAT or not yet? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. I think my favorite memory here is probably video vacation week of 8th grade. It was pretty fun because a lot of the people there I was friends with and it was just an enjoyable experience. Chris Flaherty, production coordinator at BCAT. That was my next question. Okay, okay, but how do you feel about BCAT? I love BCAT. It brings the community together. Um, it's an opportunity for everyone to get creative and explore their own interests and projects. And I think what's great about you know, television, media, and video production is you can use it to explore so many different outlets like, you know, what we do for BHS TV, we do a lot of high school news stuff, the video Voyagers, they get to explore like script writing and narratives. Um, we have the church, local churches filming their church services, we have a lot of community interests, we have a lot of news programs, the chamber does a show, so a lot of it comes together here at BCAT, it's really nice. And how are you feeling about the award ceremony here tonight? I'm very excited. It's it's almost like BCAT Christmas, getting to recognize people and surprise them. It, it's a lot of fun. I'm very excited. I've to been see. calling this the BCAT Oscars the whole that's time. No, BCAT Oscars. That's exactly what it is. You're absolutely right. Exactly. Yeah. That's why, I'm, like, everybody should come here. I think so. Definitely. Yep. All right. I'm here with Christina and Max Nikitas. How are we today, guys? Are we doing good? Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Just great. The heavens just opened up, but it's okay. We're we're here. <laughs> And Christina, how did you get involved with BCAT? So I uh, connected with Linda McNamee. Uh, I came over to see one of her shows. And after that, I just thought, you know, I'll have a look at this, that, and the other. And she invited me to do so, which was really great. So I um, got my feet wet, and I really can't leave. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> And Max, you're not involved with BCAT anyway, are you? I'm not, no, but I'm here to support my aunt. I am uh, just graduated law school a couple of weeks ago and uh, back in Boston studying for the bar, and it's great to be here. And what, what it specifically do you do at BCAT? So, let's see, I started with Linda's show, just uh, trying to help out there, sometimes some graphics, did a little bit of camera. Um, I do some robotics stuff for the governance meetings. Um, so and some news on weekly on Fridays we uh, do the news so I try and help with that whatever the director wants me to do whether it's teleprompter or graphics so I try and do that. What's your favorite part about working with BCAT? You know it's the people mm. you're all so welcoming really welcoming and so generous with your time um, I, I can't thank you enough really it's really great. So I'm here with Elizabeth and Teddy Fuller how are we today guys? Great. You're doing good you're doing what do you do at BCAT? Or how are you involved? Um, I've been learning how to produce segments for the news. Really? And I don't do anything. I'm just here. <laughs> and, and what's specifically in the news? Like graphics and stuff? Um, news stories um, in the community. and You know, some, yeah. How long have you been at BCAT? Um, I started last fall. Last fall. And how did you, like, hear of it? Um, I found you online and uh, I called up uh, Jen Dodge and she said come on in and you know we'll show you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite part about doing that? Uh, everyone that I'm meeting and the group at BCAT, everyone's great. And do you think you're going to get involved too after uh, maybe soon? Maybe, I don't know. I, I like editing stuff and making stuff so maybe. Alright, I'm here today with... Sam Norman. And what's your relation to BCAT? Um, I'm a longtime volunteer and supporter. All right, and how do you feel about like BCAT and its impact on the community? Uh, I think BCAT definitely makes a positive impact on its community with its uh, variety of uh, different educational and entertainment programming. Mm -hmm. So it's I fantastic. Like it. I like BCAT. I'm here with BCAT's own Evan Magnamy. Evan, how are you tonight? Doing good. Doing good. What do you do here at BCAT? Well, I mean, I'm in the Voyagers, do a lot of stuff, camera, commentate, do the Voyagers, as I just said, and basically just have fun. I'm here today with Sarah Eshelman. And what's your relation to BCAT? So I am one of the journalism, I'm a journalism teacher, I'm also one of the co-advisors for the Newspaper Club, and for the past couple of years, the Newspaper Club and BCAT um, have really formed a good 
relationship. We've been collaborating with the BCAT TV club, as you well know, um, with our weekly broadcast, Double Sunrise, and so I'm here just to join in the fun and also to recognize some of our members. Are you telling me this isn't the Devil Sunrise? It's not. It's not who knew. It feels like it, but it's not. It's That's not, crazy. You know what? It's not a Thursday. That's why. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And how, are you, how do you feel about BCAT and its like, impact on the community? I really feel that BCAT is able to highlight the stories in the community so other people can know what's going on. You know, I think we, we think we live in an age of information, but there are so many things we may not know about. And VCAT has this unique ability to highlight the stories so everyone can know, hey, that's, that's what's happening in my community? That's so cool. That's amazing. I didn't know. And so keep, keeping people informed about the local government, local schools, um, just everything in the community. It's fantastic insight. And um, how do you feel about the award ceremony tonight? Like, are you excited for it? I'm very excited. This is the first time. This is my first red carpet. This is my first time coming here. So I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, but I am open to the experience. It is also my first time here. Susan Linda. And Susan, what do you do here at BCAT? I'm a retired BCAT volunteer. So, um, but I'm here to um, honor my father, Richard, or Dick Linda, um, for um, uh, Jennifer's invitation and stuff. But I used to be predominantly behind the camera. Um, I used to do, oh my God, I can't even remember the name of the show. Um, but I used to direct one show for Arlene and then I used to do a lot of um, field things. Well, I started in 1988, took a break, and then 1991, probably until about uh, mid-2000. What's some of the stuff your, uh, your father did here? He was the uh, master of the modernization of the BCAT studio. So he went, he goes back to 1988. So he took, um, he just, he was called the QA engineer and he was the genius behind um, all the uh, upgrades at the studio, the new. Really, studio. really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a retired electrical engineer from Raytheon. Um, and he, so he was a volunteer going back to 1988 and then he retired from Raytheon in 1992 and then he worked here for um, 20, 20 years. So he had a second retirement uh, actually about 10 years ago. He did everything, you know, volunteer stuff, I mean, uh, you name it, he did it um, and stuff and he, he loved working here. So I'm here with Zachary Titus. Zach, how are we today? I'm um, good. Yeah. You're good, you're good. How'd you get involved with VCAT? Um, so I've done the Video Voyagers program for a while and done like the volunteer work and all that, so yeah. What's your favorite part about uh, doing with stuff with BCAT? Uh, I love working with cameras, I love working with like, I'm a huge like film lover so anything involving that just always interests me. And how'd you hear about BCAT? Um, I mean I live in Burlington so it's kind of it's kind of pretty. Any favorite moments specifically from the Voyager program? Um, I always just loved filming the skits, filming everything. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, yeah. All right, I'm here with Juliana McGrain. Juliana, how are you tonight? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. So what do you do here at BCAT? Uh, I do many things. I edit, record videos, um, host segments, like uh, audio, all the things, a lot of the things, uh, yeah. And how did you get involved? Uh, I got involved in uh, summer 2021. What specifically is your favorite part about being part of this community? Definitely the, definitely just how nice everyone is and I, I don't know, I feel like it, it's giving, given me a lot of opportunities to, um, you know, be better at yep. what I want to do. Yeah. Well, that was an awesome night, Arushi. It was an awesome night. So many people, all the laughs we had and all the appreciation. Uh, thank you all.